All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And today we're going to be reacting to Mr. Organic on the uh, Fresh and Fit podcast. I'm going to do a couple of these different, like, shorter reaction videos. So we're about to listen to, I think they described this girl on the panel as the one, um, I think she's from Venezuela or something like that. And uh, it seems like her and Organic went back and forth, man. Back and forth. And uh, in this clip that we're about to listen to, man, she went off, man. She went off on organic. She called it for what it is, man. And she wouldn't be the first one. Definitely won't be the last one, all right? If you guys remember the viral clip on Fresh and Fit, um, where the girl called out organic for not having a deed to his Malibu house. And pretty much they, they did what they did, right? They uh, tried to dog her out, make her look bad. Kind of the same thing in this case um so we're gonna check this out and react to it man let's get into it i'm talking about like, nothing physical but right. as a person you're disgusting <laughs> whoa right off the bat man she said he is disgusting man i don't know if disgusting is the right word i mean i, I know he's a piece of shit he's a dirt bag disgusting i don't know i don't really think organic does anything disgusting but he does like dirt bag moves oh, that makes sense well, that's personality wise. That's racist. Personality. I was telling. I was saying there's not nothing to do with it. No, no, I know that. We know I'm handsome, baby. We know that. I'm talking about what disgusting things. No, you're not. No, okay. Oh, okay. She don't think I am. What disgusting things did I say? Because I said your face and all that stuff. I was rude to you. No, not because of that. The the part I didn't like is like you were like that's why your boyfriend did the uh, fifty fifty because if you're not a ten, it's true. Then you cannot oh, ask for a fifty fifty. Look at you, baby. Look at you. Look at you. Face your bad build. Your, your stomach's not put together. Your titties got stretch marks on yeah. it. So, you guys can see organic, right? You guys just heard the way he's talking, right? So, this is a... This should be an eye-opener experience for you guys because some of you guys get in my comment section under the, some of the recent videos and you're like, organic is a change man. I told you guys, stop believing into this bullshit, right? Organic is not a change man. He's the same piece of shit like he was before. He's still the same piece of shit. He's the same dirt bag. I can see why she said disgusting now. Like at first I was like disgusting. You know, I'm thinking like disgusting, like food. You know, you eat some food and it's disgusting or something like that. But as a person, yeah, I can see he has a very disgusting, demeaning personality. And this is the same thing like before. Ain't nothing changed. All right. He's just playing games on his new fans, his new subscribers that have emerged from the Fresh and Fit channel onto his channel. And they're watching him. They're like, oh, he's so positive in his recent videos. Yeah, you don't know him. You guys don't know him. It's just like you're meeting somebody new for the first time. You don't know his dirtbag experience past, man. But we know it, all right? Go check out Danielle Champion, his ex, right? That's his ex-girlfriend, right? So now he's going to basically bash the crap out of her about this whole 50-50 thing. And these guys, man, they, they always want to seem like relationship guru experts and shit like that. Ain't these guys are not going to be able to figure out the relationship that fits you, man. Stop listening to these fake ass influencers. Try to influence you with how relationship works, how to find what what defines a high value man or this type of woman or that type of woman. That shit is not going to work, man. It's not it's not a cookie cutter, man. They can't they can't coach you on how a perfect relationship will turn out or what the what right person you will find or if you met this girl that this is gonna um this is what will happen they don't know man you it's just like you're paying somebody to predict something that they it's like an unknown variable you can't control how women think not it doesn't matter what fucking coach you hire man it doesn't work like that man i don't get it why these people pay these gurus thousands and thousands of dollars for what they're not it's not like whatever they coach you or mentor you on is going to really turn out to be exactly how your relationship will turn out to be man y'all gotta stop listening to these fake ass influencers i don't get it but this goes back to what i was saying organic is not a changed man he literally dogged the crap out of this girls um based on the way she looks right now he, he's basically saying that if she was attractive if she was a 10 then the guy would have taken care of her. Well, shit, Danielle was a 10. How come you didn't take care of her? 
Like, this is what I mean. Like, this is why I said you guys don't know Organic's past, but we do know. So this is how I knew he's a dirtbag. He'd just be talking out of his ass. I get it. You know, his aud- the audience on the Fresh and Fit channel want to listen to this type of shit, this type of activity. So he is feeding their egos. Like, what are we comparing, <laughs> baby? What yeah, what what I'm in the gym. I that. got millions of dollars. I'm in the gym. Look at me, baby. <laughs> I can see what I want. Look, you want to take this shot? He's got millions of dollars. Here we go with again with this bullshit, man. Millions of dollars. But he had to sell his brother's Hellcat, man. The car that he gifted to his brother, he had to take it back and sell it to trade it in actually an even exchange for the Aston Martin, man. Now, I don't even know if it's an even exchange because he got it when the interest rates were lower. Now he's paying 12% interest, man. This dude is a dumbass. I'm just giving you real understanding, baby. I work out, I get money, I'm educated. But you're not just a body. You're not just a body, just a physical. No, no, are you listening to my words? You hear how I talk? I'm very well spoken. I'm educated. I'm hilarious. I just keep it real with you, baby. You should have asked. Now, pay attention to everybody around, right? Myron, Fresh, Bam Man, Kevo. They're obviously with Mr. Organic, right? I mean, that's normal, right? Guys typically want to be together. They won't stand up for the woman right in this type of scenario this type of environment because this feeds into the ego of the fresh and fit audience y'all gotta understand this stuff man I mean, I, it's kind of hard for a lot of people because most people are brainwashed they're too dumb right except what i said you should have hit the gym start getting what i'm saying yourself together then you could have did better in life a little plastic surgery would help because the champ pushed in but hey <laughs> what i'm saying <laughs> You see what I mean? Like, don't take it personal. This is coming from a real motherfucker that's gave you some real game. You can't talk about me. I'm flawless head to toe. God made me that way. And I put in the work. But I didn't, I, didn't say, I, was, I didn't say physical. Okay, you just said I was ugly. Now you're taking it back because you got to, baby. Everybody know I'm handsome. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, it was just a joke, baby. We having fun. Don't take it like that because when you come back at me, it's not going to work. I'm indestructible. It is what it is. I just wanted to say what I wanted to say. I know, because I hurt your feelings. I get it, but you can't lie about me. I'm hilarious. I'm funny. I'm smart. You can't say this not true. So I can't say in your personality? No, because I talked about you personally, and you took it personal on me, and I get it, but it's not reality. But I'm talking about your personality. Because it was personal to you, baby. If we walk this earth and I go down the street, every woman, nine out of ten, gonna fuck with me unless they don't like niggas, and I can understand that. They like a black man, I'm gonna win, baby. And I'm pulling up Ashton Martin. <laughs> and I've got Cut Van Cleek Dirty Ball with the Google stones that no nigga got. Oh, you don't know what that is, that infinity stone. Bro, you're a fucking peasant. You're a peasant. You're in Miami. Miami, like I get it if he's in like some like Oklahoma or something like shit like that. Oklahoma, Kansas, you know, one of those like bummy suburb towns, right? And he's driving an Aston Martin. Nah, man, you were in Miami, Miami. Shit, they got like video games in Miami. You can see the kind of cars in those video games, let alone the real reality of things. Like, yo, Bandman Kevo was sitting right next to you, and he's driving an Aventador Ultimata. You are driving an Aston Martin, man. That is, like, literally the next thing above an, a Jaguar. Like, that's that ain't shit, man. It ain't shit. It might be shit. Like, don't get me wrong, because I'd be like, oh, some people are like, I would take an Aston Martin if that's entry level. You stupid idiot. You're not in Miami, stupid dumbass idiot. Like, y'all some stupid slow brain idiots. He's in Miami. Like, everybody in Miami fucking drives Huracans and Ferraris. Lamborghinis and Ferraris all day long, man. Most people that want to be recognized over there drive hypercars. They drive the Bugattis, the Paganis, the Conansegs. Like, they drive that, like, Zondas. Like, they be driving, like, that wild shit, all right? This dude is driving a fucking Aston Martin, man. That's like a Jaguar with some makeup. This come from Switzerland. No, she <laughs> never said that you're not handsome. She never oh, said that. Oh, we know that. No Nobody one can said dispute that. that, baby. <laughs> he got in his feelings so bad about his image, right? She ain't talking about your fucking image, dumbass. This is why I said the dude is a dumbass. He's organic is a dumbass. He's so he's so worried about his image. This is why he does all this shit he does on social media because he he cares so much about his image. Oh, I, I got to drive an Aston Martin. I'm a multi-millionaire. Look at my Van Cleve. Look at you. Remember what he did before, right? With all that jewelry, all that image, and what did that do to him? It ain't went. It ain't went nowhere. Six cars. Where did they go? Back to the dealerships. 
Where is he now? In a one bedroom apartment. He's trying to like he he trying to do so much to flash. And now he's flashing off of a car that he gifted to his brother. Like this dude is a dumb ba- like I told you he's a scumbag, dirtbag piece of shit. That's a that's a piece of shit move. I don't know if it's a disgusting I don't know. Some people might think it's disgusting, but I think she's talking more about his personality. He has no personality. That's the problem. He is like he has the personality of a child. Like he like his ego. That's not how a high value man reacts, man. That's just not a, how a high value man carries himself either. You said that you're not handsome. We all know that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But I'm just having fun. Don't take it that personal. I know it was like hurt you when I said that. That whole 50 50 thing got her pissed. Yeah, she's still yeah. she got a boyfriend. She got a boyfriend. Yeah, it's true, it's by the way. And it is true. You should have said what I'm saying. Like, damn, okay, let me improve myself. Let me work out more. Let me pay attention to how I'm physically and how I'm approaching another man because I want to make it better next time. You didn't give him enough to pay all them bills, baby. This man got beautiful women. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about top to bottom. He's going to take care bad, of them, right? Venezuela. I can and they're bad, though. Bad, but they're going to be taken care of 100%, right, Bam Man? Yeah, for sure. Will she be taken care of 100% how she displayed herself? Bam Man Kevin, what happened to his ex, man? Do you guys remember his ex? Do you guys remember? Y'all remember his ex? Actually, what's so crazy is, is his ex. I think she ended up smashing the guy that interviewed Organic. Um, I forget the name of the channel, but it was, it was this man. It was this hilarious video he did with Organic, and Organic said he robbed the cartel way before he got on, you know, Taco and Shawarma, um, before he got on No Jumper, before the uh, Fresh and Fit thing. This was like the first time I heard him on this guy's podcast talk about robbing the cartels, and that guy ended up. I I think is the guy, man. If I'm not mistaken, I think that was the guy that ended up smashing Batman Kevo's ex, man. So Batman Kevo, I don't know, man. What you be on? Currently, she had to get. She had to go get all like surgery, all the surgery. Hella surgery. You see what I'm saying? And it's oh, not shit. disrespectful. These coming from top level guys is keeping it real. If I was lying to you like most guys would do, and then you would. Bro, why would. I don't want to be with a girl that's got plastic surgery everywhere. I don't want to be like dating a plastic doll. Like, I'd rather have her naturally beautiful than have her enhance herself with some plastic cosmetic surgery, man. Like that, that, and now girls are taking that shit way too far, man. They got like the the super big asses. It used to be like decently big. Now they're, they're like they're like super size my ass, super size my tits. Like I don't believe in the whole surgery route, man. I just I just don't believe it. Maybe like guys like organic believe in that. Like they want you to be perfect under the knife like that. But for me, I rather have her naturally beautiful. She doesn't have to be like a nine out of ten. She could be an eight out of ten. And then this girl, she's not, she's not bad. She's not bad looking, at least the way Organic described her. But I, I know what Organic is doing. Organic, it just wants to make her look bad. Obviously, for this panel, obviously because it's a live stream, he's gonna play into other people's egos. It's all entertaining. It's gonna get the super chats up. It's a money maker, right? The way he attacks her is a money maker. But that girl has to go home. And take whatever happened during this live stream, and uh, and and that might make her like feel really bad inside. And some of you guys left comments in some of my other videos. They're like organic. Is that I, I couldn't believe. It. I thought he's a changed person. I thought he was a, a much better guy. No, he ain't, man. He just knows how to feed into your egos. He knows people on his channel are expecting a changed man, but when he goes on a podcast with millions of subscribers. He knows there's more egos on there. There's more entertainment. There's more money involved. So he has to bring, he has to unleash that beast, man. He has to act wild. He has to push it over the edge. It doesn't matter if he makes these girls look like shit. And to be honest with you guys, I don't really feel that bad. You know why? Because they can watch what happens on that show. They chose to come on that show and be treated this way. So I don't feel entirely too bad about them, about any experience, about the feedback they get from these guys, because they chose to be on there. So they should accept it. That's kind of like my harsh side, right? I mean, and then I would cool with you, I'll fuck you, send you on the way, and now you lost again. I'm just keeping it real with you, because I'm not trying to fuck you. <laughs> what the fuck? This is reality. It, it's harsh, but this is how we talk behind closed doors. If y'all all left, this is how we would talk. 
I'll just open the door and let you in and put a little motherfucking cinnamon in your motherfucking tea, baby. Take a sip. <laughs> oh, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Like this is what I don't understand, man. Like, like I said, I'm gonna be fair. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna criticize organic, but I'm also gonna criticize the girls. I'm gonna give it to you guys from both sides, right? We already, we already dogged the shit out of organic. We know organic is a dirt bag. We know how organic plays. You know, on his channel, he likes to carry a certain personality that seems to be like a change guy. That he's really being transparent. He's, he's trying to motivate his people. But boy, when he gets on these other podcasts, he's a whole different personality. It's not even a whole other different personality. That's his real personality. It's the same personality he had years ago on his channel. But he knows his channel is going through a, th a transition phase now. So he asked it to bring a different, you know, face to it. This way to maintain the views he's been getting recently. But when he gets on these podcasts, he knows there's big egos. There's a lot of these simps watching beta males and beta males that can't get these type of girls that already come on these shows. They love seeing them getting dogged out by these big, you know, rich, successful guys. They love that entertainment factor. So this is why Organic does it the way he does it. But now from the girls side of things, they chose to be on there. So they should accept the responsibility. All right. They knew it's not like this is their first rodeo. Fresh and Fit has been doing this crap on numerous women before. So they know what to expect. And if these women think that they're going to get on this podcast and find high value men willing to spend money on them to spoil them just because they get on this. Boy, they lost their fucking mind. They lost their mind. These guys are probably going to smash and pass and wait for the next group to come in and do the same thing, the same cycle over and over and over again. These girls really think by coming on this show, they're going to find true love. They're going to find that perfect guy that looks perfect, that's got money, that's going to take care of them and all that shit. Boy, you guys lost your fucking mind. This is why I don't feel bad for either side. The caliber of man that he is, so he's not saying that nobody is gonna watch. Him. He's not saying that. He's saying his caliber of man is not gonna go for him. <laughs> That's not what we do as women in the past that we deserve to be disrespected like that. Like, it, ain't it, ain't it, ain't it ain't the disrespect. It ain't disrespect. You know what to expect on this. You know that there's going to be some disrespect that's going to happen on this show. All right. It's not like you you were watching the church channel or some shit like that. No, you knew what you're getting yourself into. Stop. These women think they're all like, oh, I'm going to be the different one. I'm going to get on this show and it's going to be real positive and they're going to really value what I look like and what I bring to the table. Hey, no, man, that's not how it works. That channel is designed for, the, it's feeding the egos of the audience. The audience want to see you get dogged out, dummy. That's why they bring you on there to dog the crap out of you, to make you look like shit. So you chose, you accepted the responsibility. Don't bring no disrespect into it. All right, that's why that organic pretty much is getting paid to disrespect you. That's what they're doing, duh. That's how the, the audience wants to see. That's, that's what happens on that channel's parameters. On my channel is different, right? I'm here to inform you. I'm, I'm trying to open your eyes to make you guys understand what's going on. Some of you all think Organic is a changed person. He's not a changed person. He's just a guy with multiple personalities. You got to understand what personality he's on his channel. You got to understand the personality he does on Taco and Shawarma's channel, the personality on Fresh and Fit. Everyone has a different audience. He has to play. It's just like acting. You know, when he when, he, when you act in a, co a comedy movie, you're going to have a completely different role than you are in an action movie. This is what is going on. And this is why a lot of people are so stupid. They don't realize this shit. They think Organic has one personality. He's a super positive guy. He ain't no super positive. He's just playing the role that fits the big check. Dummies. Is it the truth? I mean, this, is, this is what the, men say. This is how men communicate behind the scenes. Right. Just, you guys are honestly hearing like guys talk behind in the locker room. I, I you know? like a nigga, it's so ruthless. this is just normal. Yeah, this is how you say it. A lie of the joking. This is not how they talk in the locker room. Organic would smash that girl. Organic even said on this podcast before that he would, like, there's girls that he would sleep with that are ones and twos. If a, if a guy needs to smash, he's going to smash anything. You know, it don't have to be an eight. It don't have to be a nine. It don't have to be, it definitely won't be a ten. They'll smash a two and a three. If that's all, if that's all they can get, they're going to smash that. So he, they can clearly, they, they're probably going to smash that girl. They're going to make her fit like shit. 
They probably already made her feel like shit. And they're like, oh, baby, come upstairs. Let me, let, let's come up. Let's have some drinks. Let's go out. Let me hit it. This is why y'all got to remember these girls. It's, you know, what's so cool about this Fresh and Fit podcast, what I like about it is that we can see the girls that come on that channel. So if you ever find your way in Miami, you ever stumble in Miami, you go there for vacation, whatever, right? Visiting, whatever. And you stumble on one of these girls that come on this show, you know damn well not to fuck with her. All right. She's probably, they probably ran a train through her. Why is that? Like, I've never sat in a, in, 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 with men to talk uh, to up, men bitch. about this. This is my first time. So I, I'm just curious. Like, why? why it's how we are. Do, it's why, it's why, how we are. Like, yeah. why very straightforward. Like, we don't bullshit. Uh, yeah. It, it is what it is. Looks are very important, man. Did women do something wrong in the past? Did we women do something wrong in the past that we get disrespected in the past? Wait, what? I'm asking, like, did we women did something wrong in the past? Well, actually, if you want to be practical about it and God fearing, Eve made a sin. Fuck this up. Fuck that bitch. What did Eve do? Wait, you don't know? She ate the apple, but what is the symbology behind that? You don't know? She sinned. You so yeah, but what what the, what was the what was the sin? I'm at yeah, she's clearly on the wrong channel, man. She she really she's clearly on the wrong channel. She's kind of like the priest that wants to go to the strip club to try to um, convince the people in the strip club what they're doing is wrong, right? That's not that's not your place, ma'am. That's not your place. That's not your place. I I know what you're trying to do. I get what you're trying to do, but you're in the wrong place, ma'am. You're trying to act like a priest. Oh, well, why don't they, why don't they see the value in what I bring? Why is it all about? Because that's, that channel is all about the looks. You you think like Myron, who's a, Myron and Fresh, who's worth millions of dollars at this point. Uh, Mr. Organic, who just fucks around to just to fuck around. It don't matter if it's a nine or a two, he'll, he'll sleep with you. You think those guys care about what you bring to the table and all that bullshit, all that portfolio crap, all that biography crap? No, they want a girl that looks good because it fits the social media profile. You guys don't want to see Organic hanging out with a bunch of ugly girls, do you? You guys don't want to watch that. So this is really the audience's problem, but this is what the audience wants. This is what these actors are doing for you guys. They're playing their role, and these girls are falling for it. So like I said, I don't feel really bad I get comments about it. Oh, you, you can you believe what Organic said on that? No, I don't believe. It. I know what Organic is. I know who he is. You guys don't know who he is. That's why you, some of you guys are shocked because you don't understand how this shit works. You don't understand all these different roles. And these women act stupid. So I don't feel bad when they get on this channel or on any podcast and they get dogged out. That's what you. That's what you chose to do. Don't act stupid now and be like, oh, I feel I feel miserable. I feel bad. They, they really don't think I'm this person. I'm not, like, valued enough. I'm not that attractive. No, they don't. And if, even if you are attractive, they'll probably still make you feel like shit. They'll find some kind of flaw with you. So this is why women should carry themselves a certain way if you don't feel like... And I would do research, man. I don't know what's wrong with these fucking women. Go look up at the channel, Fresh and Fit, before you get on there, just to get an idea of what you're going to be on there. That ain't that, that, that's like, that's like basic shit, man. Like you guys, when you go apply for a job, right? Before you apply, you do a research on the company to know what the fucking company's about. They all got badass reviews. You think you you really want to go work there? Unless you're struggling and desperate for any kind of work? Like, I don't know what's wrong with these women, man. Something's wrong with these women. So again, I don't feel bad for the women. I don't feel any kind of way about organic. I mean, I know organic is a dirt bag. He's always been a dirt bag. So it doesn't really change anything I listen to so far. But anyways, that's just my opinion. Everything in this video is just my opinion, my reaction, man. If you guys disagree, let me know in the comment section. Or if you agree, let me know in the comment section. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching.